Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Song. And today I will introduce the paper, Ensemble Diffusion for Travel, which is co-authored by Zhu Chaozhou, Dr. Wang, Professor Bai, Professor Nataki, and Professor Tian. <coughs> The work, the work, this work focused on object retrieval. And given a query object, a retrieval system needs to find those candidate objects in a database which are visually similar to the given query. The object that we talk about here is, is not only uh, color images uh, that we usually deal with, but also include some specific types, such as the personal images, sketch images, or also 2D or three-dimensional shape models. Here are some popular data sets which can be used for retrieval, such as the holidays, Paris, Oxford, and the Mod Labs. Okay, the first key point in object retrieval is how to describe the objects, which is a vision learning issue. Uh, most of the recent algorithms about vision learning will focus on the use of CNN. To this end, some clean data sets are collected for training the latter work. Here we list uh, some of them. Another focus is how to get an image level descriptor. Several representatives are SPOC, RMAC, Light VLAT, and Deep Image Retrieval. Uh, in this slide, we show the um, recent uh, progress in retrieval performance. As we can see, the accuracy is booming. It's a very amazing line. The highest MHP on the Oxford 5K data set is 95.8. After generating the features, most previous works conduct retrieval by simply comparing their features in the Euclidean space. In this work, we will show how to compute a more faithful similarity through affinity learning. So our concerns are two parts. Uh, firstly, instead of taking a pairwise formulation as the Euclidean distance, we want to capture the geometry of the data manifold by analyzing the relationship between objects. This can be done by a methodology called a diffusion process, which we will, we will discuss later. And second, consider, considering that different similarities generally focus on different aspects of objects, multiple similarity fusion is also needed to take use of the complementary relationship between them. <coughs> so the focus of this talk will be a thorough investi investigation about fusion with diffusion framework. We now introduce some basic concepts of diffusion process. Diffusion process works on an affinity graph G. The vertex set X will denote the object data, and each edge between two vertices has their similarity value W. The goal of diffusion process uh, is to learn a new similarity A by iterative similarity propagation. A typical variant of, of diffusion process is, formulate, is formulated as shown in this equation. Um, but it should be uh, where uh, um, in this equation, S is the transaction matrix, also it can be taken as a normalized similarity W. So it should be mentioned here, and there are many variants of diffusion process as summarized in this very paper published in 3PR in 2013. So um, on the basis of this diffusion process, how can we fuse multiple similarities? That's to say, the condition of fusion with diffusion framework is that we have multiple affinity graphs from G1 to GM, and uh, our goal is still to learn a new, a new similarity A. Uh, in this work, we will revisit and reformulate several existing methods to say if we can der derive a better, better one. Uh, the first the two commonly used solutions are like la fusion. Live early fusion first uh, average the input similarities, then run the diffu diffusion process on the combined graph. Live later fusion will run the diffusion process for each, in each individual input similarity, then average the learned similarity. Though it's very simple to implement, live fusion is very sensitive to noisy similarities since it, uh, it cannot adaptively decrease the weight of noisy similarities. The third op option is tensor product fusion. Its iteration-based formulation is as the first equation shows. As we can see, it can only deal with the two similarities, that is S1 and S2. So a key observation in this paper is that 
the, lim the limit of this iteration can be derived by solving a complex convex optimization as the, as the second equation shows. We can say the second, the second equation actually defines the trend or influence of the two input similarities, uh, that is W1 and W2, on the learned similarity A. So tensor product fusion considers complementary structures of two different similarities. However, it is still ignoring the weight learning issue. So motivated by, by such a recognized rig formulation, we propose a new algorithm called uh, Organized Ensemble Diffusion, uh, RED. Here we use beta V, beta V to measure the importance of the weight similarity, and the H way measures the influence of the weight similarity on the learned similarity A. Uh, H way can be also taken as a smooth least quantization of A with respect to W V. And so uh, as this equation shows, since the minimized problem, we, we are expecting that we are given larger ways to smoother similarities. So to summarize, uh, RED uh, considers a joint learning for the similarity A and uh, the, the weight beta in a unified framework. Uh, to reduce the uh, complexity of the optimization, we have developed an iteration-based solver as the conventional diffusion process. Uh, its, de its details can be found in our poster. So RED has several less nice properties. Firstly, it can deal with more than two similarities. As, uh, as I mentioned previously, tensor product fusion can only deal with two similarities. We can do more. So uh, second, uh, so second, uh, RED is, ve is very robust to noisy is very robust to noisy features since it can adapt to tooling to the weight weight beta. And third, uh, uh, its complexity remains the same as the conventional diffusion process. Uh, diffusion process. Finally, we can expect that it will achieve much better performance. So we first evaluated and summarized the framework on a modelized data set with three-dimensional shape retrieval. The performance of uh, the performance of the four input similarities, including volume matrix in N, diffs, rest light, and the parallelogram are listed in this table. Besides live fusion and uh, tensor product fusion, we also compare three related methods, that is query adaptive late fusion, graph fusion, and smooth neighborhood. As we can see, RAD outperform those, those baseline computers with the same input similarities. This table shows comparison with the state of the art. As can be found clearly, RD set a new state of the performance on both model 4T and model 10. The evaluation is also done on image retrieval. Here, four similarities are used, including light V light, SPUC, REST light, and HSV color histogram. Consistent with previous experiments, RD also achieved best performance. To summarize, uh, we gave a systematic study about the similarity fusion on the, in the framework of diffusion process. I believe it could be a practical guide for other researchers in, in related fields. However, there are still many things to be investigated in the future. For example, we need efficiently to we need to efficiently handle unseen queries uh, if much queries are added in the, in the index time. One can refer to this paper re, re, refer to this original diffusion paper for details. Moreover, other applications such as geometry verification and point, vision, point, point matching can be, invest, uh, can be considered. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for your attention. Questions? Are there any questions? So um, I have a question. Yeah. How, how do you initialize the similarities? And also, how would you compare the runtime of your method to the ones that you compared with? I'm sorry? How would you compare the runtime of your method to the ones that you've compared with? Yeah. Actually, we, we, we all use the same uh, input similarities for fair comparison. Do I understand the question? Yeah. And, and about the runtime of your method? Runtime? Time complexity. Oh, time processing. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, uh, sorry for this. Uh, 
actually we have compared the uh, um, time, but I, did, I, I don't know rep report in this paper since there are the re repeat limits. But I also done the experiments about time, time process. Uh, it, it, the experiments should, all the compared methods are, it's, um, yeah, the time, time are very, uh, the same, yeah. Uh, the very, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Similar time. Okay, yeah. Okay.